Hey everyone, welcome to Lance Fantasy Gaming. Uh, today is a vlogging series and everything else for that as well. Uh, yes, I feel a lot better from last week. Uh, it's just we had a fever and finally broke a few days after that day. And we'll be having our live stream this Friday for our space, uh, uh, Chaos Space Marine Terminators. Then we'll probably do some other ones. I got 3D print as well. I'm thinking about getting the So King uh, kit as well. It's like 178 on Amazon. Then about uh, Games Workshop selling for like 210. So I'm probably end up buying on Amazon. 178 sounds reasonable for all those models. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking of getting uh, for that. But if you guys haven't, uh, subscribe, like, and share. Check out our our patreon discord etsy i'm mostly able to be able to um get only like place you want really want to talk to me is through discord just check that out i'm on the link below as well i'm going to update all those links through the uh the tree link uh thing that's basically just one link for all of the social media accounts uh for that um i am going to probably end up buying all the new Blood Angel stuff that is going to be coming out for 10th edition in, in the following months. Once it release more, I am going to get Commander Dante. I don't know if I'm going to buy the old Commander Dante. They have the pewter and the plastic ones for that as well. I'll probably end up getting it uh, just to see the comparison and just having it in general. Yes, I like to collect all the factions if able to able to afford. If not, I'll just 3D print majority of the faction as well uh for that so i did a lot of dnd &D painting for ashley's game i have a few more to go for her that's for chapter one of her game uh i don't know what chapter two is going to be what i'm going to be painting but after i'm done with hers i'll be painting my stuff majority of them are the warhammer stuff i have lying around and also uh, some of the dnd &D stuff that needs to be painted i have a lot of uh unpainted shame minis uh that are basically translucent green and gray that i need to get done and over with i have a lot of old pewter pieces that needs to be on base they have to be repainted because a lot of the old paints weren't vibrant or fluid and a lot of them are pilot that that base paint too as well so it, i want to get all of that removed out of the way some of the minis i do have are made out of lead so there's nothing i can do but actually put a very generous uh, thick coat and varnish it at the same time for that as well um, but other than that it's been very um, productive I would say uh, with me painting and talking to you guys seeing you guys artwork uh, for that as well um, hopefully I will see more of you guys artwork on the art tabs in the page and uh, sorry discord uh, for that, but if you have minis that you want me to paint I will do it, but it's, you know it'll be a, like a long waiting list Unless you guys send me some minis and I keep it for myself and I'll probably definitely paint it right away But uh, yeah, I, I could help paint if you guys if you guys really need to uh, You know, I'll be at all I, you know, it's gonna ask is pay shipping for me to ship it back to you That's pretty much what I'm going to ask for that uh, because uh, I have that many Warhammer stuff, to tell you the truth. I have a lot of D&D &D stuff back like in 20 plus years, but not a lot of Warhammer stuff uh, for that. But um, in two weeks, Beemo's going to be on surgery. Our grumpy grandma of a cat is going to get surgery. She has a, a large cyst in her belly to get that removed. Uh, one of our friends uh basically covered half of it her her medical cost i thank you for that uh very much joshi um and a mother's paying 300 and i'll be paying 300 so that basically helps out a lot and get it done right away because usually i was my plan was to save save money for the end of the year and get it done by the end of the year but the sooner the better so April 4th, she'll be getting her surgery done and getting that removed. And she'll be in a comb for two weeks. There'll be a lot of shorts of BMO after uh, when she get her surgery done. Just to, you know, see, have you guys see how she is doing uh, for that as well. Um, 
I am going to have to clean a lot of my office. It looks like a, sh a pig style and a shit show uh, for that. Just to let you know, it could have paints everywhere, box everywhere. I have trash right here piled up. You probably can see it. Uh, I'm probably going to get Octopath Travelers 2 and streaming that and putting down a secondary channel. If you guys haven't know, I do have a secondary channel. It's mostly uh, gameplays uh, for that. If you guys enjoy gameplays, there's like basically no commentary on it. Uh, for that uh, video, uh, for those videos on the secondary channel, just letting you guys know. Uh, I'm going to try to play Persona 3 once I get a lot of my stuff done painted. I have like little knickknacks, like some, I have the cultist for the uh, Tyranids. That, uh, it's like a leader, I believe. I need to put together and done. I have some Necrons as well that I did not know I have. I'm trying to get as much stuff as done. Uh, I need. To, I got two sets of chaos that I got to figure out because Berserker used to be basically part of the Chaos Space Marines. I don't know if you can still put them in the Chaos Space Marines, but they have now the World Eaters uh, that I'm putting my mind wrapped around. So I have like two factions of, of the from the Corn fact Corn faction. So it's like. Uh, it is something that you know. It's like it's a lot of minis too. Uh, that's why Wrath of the Soul King will cover like the what half of the corn by my by border patrol for the world eaters, uh, just to have that done as well. Uh, I think that border patrols and combat patrols are very good and it's cost saving a lot of money instead of buying them individually. Uh, I'm trying to find stuff on eBay that are used. And the problem is, is they're selling it for, they think that it's worth, that's fine. A lot of times I see these paintings, it's painted, it looked like shit. So it's like, I want to give you 10 bucks for that army, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you hit a gold mine, sometimes you don't. A lot of times you have these pieces that are missing and people are like, get one and one for like 80 or 80. I'm like, I can buy a brand new set of the same thing for like 60 bucks. So it's like. It's weird how people buy stuff. I don't know if they're in it together with some other people or or something like that. But uh, you guys support uh, with the like and the subscription and the viewership does help this channel out. Hopefully in the long run when you make enough, uh, we'll be upgrading our equipment and up getting more miniatures as well for the paint and open up for you guys as well. If you guys want to send some stuff uh, to me, just let me know and we can get that worked out as well. Um, we are going to watch the D&D movie next week uh, that is coming out. Uh, if you have any D&D questions or D&D story monsters and so forth, let me know. Uh, like I said, DM for 20 plus years. I can get that done. Uh, talk to you guys. I know more about that lore of Greyhawk and Forgotten Realm than Warhammer 40k. And I'm still learning about Warhammer 40k. And I'm still intrigued about 10th edition because I just learned about the Primaris uh, from one of the viewers that left the comments. And I want the all new Primaris stuff for my Terminators. I think they're coming out of the Primaris Terminators. I want to see how it looks. And I do like Tyranids as well. And I'm going to change a lot of my Tyranids with actual Zerg from StarCraft uh, and proxy that in. So I am want to also kit bash a lot of stuff as well. And I do want to get my hands in the Forge world and see what's that all about. I do want to get a Contrast Paint 2.0 from Army Painters. And they got the Vallejo Express. Their other the Vallejo is brand new Contrast Paint. But they cost of like two, $400 for Vallejo. $200 for the Army Painter. But I got to finish a lot of my paint. I might get a kit of Slanesh kits from the Border Patrol. And get that painted because I have a lot of purples and pink. I do want to get rid of, and they're just really old. And that fact, or I try to find all my vampires that I have and paint those as well. I have some Age of Sigmar stuff and Warhammer Fantasy. I heard I bring Warhammer Fantasy back, so I really don't know what to deal with that as well. If you guys have any idea, please let me know as well. Bloody hell, that's all I have for you guys for your update for this week. If you guys want me to make or add in 3D print something or you want to see something, please let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe, like, and share if you guys have and Check out our Patreon, Discord, Etsy. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye.